This is Tom Kershaw for Raps on TV. I'm delighted to be joined by heavyweight contender Ian Lewis. And Ian, the fight's just around the corner now. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm in good shape and I can't wait for the day to come now. Obviously, it's been all, um, over a year now since we last saw you in the ring. What have you been up to since then? Um, well, as you know, the last 10 weeks I've been preparing for this fight. But um, other than that, I've just been training still, yeah. Were you hoping to have more fights in the meantime and the plans fell through? Or? No, but you know, as it, as it happens, during the Dylan fight, early in the fight, I broke my nose, so I had to wait for a bit of time for that to heal. So, in effect, I couldn't really have had too many fights in between anyway because I was waiting to get over that injury. But since that injury now, I've, um, I've been training, so I'm in good shape. And you had a good amount of notice for this fight, so you've had longer to prepare. Does that make you feel more confident yeah. heading into the bout? Yeah, most definitely. I definitely feel good going into this one because I know I've had a good preparation time and I'm really good. And uh, a lot's been made of Joe Joyce's amateur career, but you had a great amateur career yourself. For the viewers that don't know, can you just tell us a bit about that? Well, I represented England, won medals for England, boxing in tournaments around the world. I boxed all around the world. I knocked out the Cuban number number three in the world, so I fought at a high level as an amateur, so I've done quite well. Obviously, we know all about Joe Joyce. Have you studied him personally, or do you leave that to your coaches? Yeah, I stand to the trainer. I don't, I'll just turn up and fight. That's and, what, how, what, do you want to approach this fight in an aggressive fashion? Obviously, everyone knows that you come out quite strong, especially in the Dylan White fight. You're really impressive at the beginning. Do you think that you'll look to try and take him out early? or? I'm going to take him out whether it's early or not. I know at the end of the day, he can't run for the whole 10 rounds. And the fact is, if I put one in his chin, he's going to sleep, whether it's in the first or it's in the 10th. So it's not a case of me starting fast. It's just a case of when and, and where it happens. And whatever round it happens in, he's going to get put to sleep, whether it's the first or the, or the other 10. And obviously, I know that you're going to be completely focused on this fight, but winning this could do huge things for your career. What's, what would be the ultimate goal? To become a world champion or become British? champion obviously the world champion is the main one obviously that's the main focus and that's everyone ambition is ever to fix up a pair of boxing gloves in the beginning you hope to obviously win the world title and that's where my focus is and that's my own ambition if I could just get your quick opinion, obviously the big news yesterday was the Anthony Joshua fight and Pulev's pull out. Uh, what do you think about Takam and the new opponent? Do you think it's a good fight to get a late notice and an easy win? Or I think it's a good opportunity for Takam. I think um, Anthony Joshua is going to have to make minor adjustments in his game and in his preparation because it's a different opponent, but it's a brilliant opportunity for Takam. Thanks very much for giving us some of your time and best of luck on Thank Friday. You. Cheers.